I would have just hit her right at the dead crack of her head, right here. Boom. Make her take a seat. Feel me? When she sent me her for my oh, definitely I want to die. Like, why would you do that? And she was crying. And we talking about, I'm sorry, my son did you like that. I'm like, how you raised this nigga? Get the out of my face. I just knew. One day I just be sleep and I wake up and boom. Time to go through this phone. It's that time again, Ricky. The rest of the week went by with Sarah learning to read, write, and work on her mental shield. But there were a few key things that happened. Oh, some bullshit, man. Back on that bullshit. This tower attached to his mansion. Kind of like. Wait, hold on, guys. Let's actually set the aesthetic for today's video. Be open on my feelings for your next girl, man. Welcome back to my channel today. I am. Hold on. Is there a glare or should I just take off my glasses? Welcome back to my channel today. I am back with another video. Today is story time Sunday. Y'all, I've been on my P's and Q's. I have not missed a week. Oh, I'm lying. But you get what I'm saying. Like, I've been on my P's and Q's. Also, to the mention, like, I'm taking my braces seriously. Like, I realized that I actually think I might like my smile when I have pretty teeth or even like braces with pretty teeth. But I realized my teeth look up with the braces and starting to piss me off so i'm taking and wearing my bands and stuff seriously just ignore them i'm not going to take them out for this video because then i won't remember to put them in for the entire day and it's morning time right now so welcome back to my channel today i am back with another video today's video will be a story time about how i had to deal with a crazy side bitch. like i don't know what's wrong with these crazy side bitches but like y'all need to like relax like for real this shit is like scurry a couple of months ago i actually ran into this person who i'm about to be telling a story time about but not only that i made a story time about how this girl has actually sent me a video of my man like goddamn i'm gonna just be so straightforward this is not about sale at all he's back i'm gonna get myself a rolling tray or like a motherfucking robe or something that say like story time sunday or like clear it up or something because like it really true it's true anyway let me clear that up let me say it again in real time this is not about salem i usually don't address you like this because just like how many times do i gotta tell y'all it, it's just not gonna happen i'm not about to sit here and make a story time about that man but y'all don't listen like, so i'm gonna say it again this ain't about that man it's not about the tatted dreadhead trinidadian Okay. So I'll be telling y'all a story time about how I dealt with this crazy ass side bitch and how I ran into her at Ulta. Hey guys, I would like to stop in real quick and thank our sponsor for today's video. Today's video is sponsored by Morgan and Morgan. When injured in an accident, you deserve compensation and the law firm you choose definitely matters. You can check out Morgan and Morgan, America's largest injury law firm nationwide. Morgan and Morgan actually has over 800 attorneys that specialize in every category of injury law. Nursing home abuse, car accidents, work slip and falls, slip and falls, etc, etc. And the best part about it is Morgan and Morgan's fee is free unless they win your case there's no upfront cost and no sign up fees all the calls text communication is completely free unless they win your case if you don't believe me morgan and morgan has actually recovered over 13 billion dollars for their clients over 3 million people trust morgan and morgan and call them in their time of need they also have a staff who is 24 7 and ready to help you whenever you need if you ever have a case question or concern you can contact their team because they are here to help getting started is easy you can easily click the link down below in my bio or you can dial pound law that's pound 529 you already know from the phone you are right now thank you morgan and morgan for sponsoring today's video i will see y'all in the next one but i just don't feel like doing my lash today so do y'all think i could get away with it or do y'all think i gotta do a new set i think i get away with it i'm gonna just be getting ready for the day how long has it been with these braids almost a month i thought i would take them out in like two weeks but i actually took them out in a month because i've been able to maintain them enough let's get into this video i just came out the shower so i washed my face and everything but i have not done my skincare as y'all all may know oh my god someone just commented on the video like y'all still be watching those videos about me telling y'all about how i cheated before in the past y'all still be watching that yeah this story time about that heathen Bitches be thinking this is my first relationship or whatever. I'm like, clearly you don't tune into the YouTube videos. I do my edges first and then I put mousse on and then I do my skincare because I need that mousse to set. I don't even want to give even the nickname of this nigga, but I'm going to give it anyway. It was dice. Y'all always ask me like, did he bother you and shit? Yes. Why do y'all think I stopped? First off, the only reason I really stopped telling stories because y'all know I'm not scared about shit. It's because I had gotten into a relationship and I just didn't want to be disrespectful to like, you know, keep bringing up. I didn't want to keep talking about that man because I feel like if I was talking about him a lot and he just kept calling my phone from different numbers and all that shit, 
that it would just eventually in the long run the relationship between me and Salem it would have just caused hella problems and I just had no plans on dealing with that right now so that's why I really stopped telling the story because I realized I didn't tell that much stories about him for him to be carrying on the way he did like y'all don't even know the half of it I did a story telling about how this person specifically has sent me a video of her f***ing my nigga like why would you do that when she had did that I'm not even gonna lie y'all I wasn't even cheating at this point y'all like I was just taking L's after L's I mean I was cheating but not that much I do foul sh but you're fowler you're fowler this was a girl who actually was his ex-girlfriend before i had met him like maybe i was a side bitch damn was i the side bitch who rebounds a side bitch for two years damn you rebounded me more than your go get your wife back what the fuck but anyway so when i first started talking to him i'm not gonna lie i didn't even know about this girl because as y'all may know i told y'all like i really am out the way i'm still like that to this day i do not be in Y'all will never, ever, 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 ever catch me in drama from my home city. I just logged into my snap after a year because I have forgot the password to my and everything. But half my home city either dead or dead to me. When I first started dating this man and I seen how active and stuff he was outside and shit, I don't know, that low-key was a turn off. One thing about me, I like a nigga who like to stay home. I do not be caring about nothing. So like when he was doing shit, even when we first started talking to each other, when I went through his phone, I, it was very rare because we used to have this little battle war where I would change my password and he would change his password and I would change my password. But one thing about it though, to get this Nani, I needed that password. And he would give it because he's a fucking desperate ass ex addict. When I first heard about his um, ex-girlfriend, it was actually on Facebook, I believe. When the first time I met his mama, she was telling me, I don't like the does he bring home like you're such a well-mannered little girl and blah 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 you know moms love me except a couple i ain't even gonna lie but the only reason they didn't like me is because i was going i was bopping through the family when i found out about her i remember pressing him and i was like oh who is she the reason why i even pressed him was because i know that he was around her before to touch my braids up y'all i used this mousse and then i put some of this it smells so good it just remind me of the salon i put some of this hairspray in this mousse and then i do my edges first and to not get that white cast i lay it down the reason why i even pressed him let me make that a point was because of the fact that i'm seeing this react to shit, but i'm like i know you was with my he like oh yeah that's my ex and that crazy and this bitch and this you know how that shit go these lying ass niggas he only uses her car to i told y'all he was a pharmacist to do his business or whatever do his deliveries so i shouldn't even be worried about it and i'm like why are you using this car to do his deliveries mind you this in the beginning when i first met him so he had a vehicle but it, you know he was still getting out the mud so that she used to be in the shop a lot this is why my life's so confusing breaking it down my mentality because i'm an i was insecure don't get me wrong but let's be very fucking clear i might have went for shit because i was insecure but i wasn't a fat person who just let you do shit to me and then i'm just calm when i found out about his ex i was like okay how long ago did this happen we was talking he told me red flag that their relationship basically ended like i don't remember how many months ago but less than a year like i remember specifically Specifically being like less than a year like damn but then i was still talking to my back home nigga, so i was like oh my god like it's cool like if you have a little crazy ex i don't have a crazy ex this is my first crazy ex i'm not even gonna lie i had crazy nigga but this is my first crazy ex like he was committed to that role like i ain't even gonna lie i don't never want to experience another crazy ex ever again he was like yeah she crazy as fuck she do the most she always trying to argue with me and this down the third that's why i don't fuck with her she's a whore i'm not the one to sit there and key with you about your ex when he was talking about his ex i would just be listening i just be like damn because also too i'm not gonna lie i feel like sometimes that that's a trick like you trying to get me to talk about my ex and i don't hate him like he he i honestly love him like watch your mouth i always say to him listen i can't tell you how to do your shit, but like on top of the fact that you're a cheater eventually during our relationship the shit that you go for will end up biting you in the ass in the end or for example letting him use that bitch car to go do what he wanted to do i let that slide because i'm thinking i'm letting you do that because i'm thinking that you're making your money right but at the same time it was very disrespectful yeah i'm about to have to wash my hands because i put all this product on my hands and now i'm about to do my skincare and i just don't want all this stuff on my hands on my face like i was saying because it was so new in a relationship i let slide that i should never ever 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 had let slide he told me he gets her car and that's it that's it i'm delusional because why would this bitch let you use her car and you're not giving her no how are you paying her back Indeed. mind you she was like three years older than him so like really clock that you're doing all of this for a, a high school and you're supposed to be like touching sophomore in college after he started cheating and stuff obviously i'm gonna become a girl who's like everything i'm questioning i think the first time i realized he was with her was i went through his phone and he was in her bed and i'm like why are you in this bed like i know this isn't your bed and you don't sleep at your homie's house so whose bed is this shit? and then 
stalking got me where I wanted and I found out that it was her room because she has the same bed. She has the same room. Like what? Like obviously I'm going crazy. I'm seeing that this is playing in my face. So I stopped liking that. And when I stopped liking it, I started having boundaries that I never had before. So it wasn't just so easy willy nilly dilly for a nigga to cheat on me. And that's why I started doing this. This has been me recently. I'm having boundaries. You will give them an inch. They take a thousand fucking miles. And two, they add on two. Because I have boundaries, obviously it made it hard for this nigga to see her more because before I'm the big I just want to jump in really quickly and just acknowledge that I know I was cursing a lot in this video, but I think it's because I didn't give them a name. So I keep referring to them as nigga and bitch because that's what they are to me, a nigga and a bitch. Next time I will remind myself to keep saying names instead of cursing because every time y'all hear the silence that's because i'm cursing and i realize i've done that like a lot within this video so i'm gonna work on that i'm sorry y'all fuck i always feel really hard for this nigga to see her because when you cheated so much it's like i went from not caring about what you did to now i think everything you're doing is cheating so you can't just leave my bed or be on the phone with me and hang up the phone and be like oh yeah i'm about to walk into her crib right now i'll call you back i wasn't going for that tell that bring the kids outside so eventually i personally feel like she knew about me he said she knew about me i feel like what happened was because i had more boundaries with him and it made it harder for him to just cheat where all these spiders coming from i just killed one or did he wake back up <gasps> oh my god he revived after i sprayed him with this hairspray Motherfucking glad. I bet you ain't never got sprayed with this bitch. I feel like she started having some resentment towards me because of the fact now that I'm not going for my nigga just coming to see you. So I feel like she started having some resentment towards me. Clear it up. I was talking mad stupid. Like I was saying, I feel like because I took that access, I said, Give me him. Even though she, he was going back. <laughs> She was mad at me because it was like, girl, you limiting when I could see my man. Because it was really her man if you want to get into it. It was my man, but it was her man too. So I feel like she was mad at me because it's like, you're the reason why he's not coming over as much. But I mean, it is true. Like, girl, I can't share him all the time. Sorry. My radar was off because of he was just a cheater himself. Like, if it wasn't with her, it was with another person. So I never had beef with this girl. I started realizing that she was watching me. Like, she would watch my Snapchat story. She would watch me. She would try to follow me. I would even go through his phone and I would see, like, how she would text him and be like, you with that fat ass bitch. You know, trying to talk her big one on me or whatever. I feel like she started getting mad at me. Yes, he could see you because he could. He's still doing it because he's sneaking. But, like, for me, he put it like, oh, this bitch is so crazy. Like, this bitch is so delusional. She thinks just because she doing me this favor that I got to be with her and this down a third and i'm just like nigga then stop using her car so when he stopped using her car i feel like that's when the switch really happened and i mean i'm not judging no girl to be honest because i feel like now i know that he was dropping dick off every night i don't want to be that person who was like oh she's so delusional she's so delusional the delusional part for me when it comes to beef with other bitches is because you're mad at the wrong person you're mad at the wrong person i'm never going to be mad at the bitch who i knew existed Pound town, you left pound town. Clear it up, let me clear it up. Ooh, why did I get so dark? Uh, let's brighten it up in here, yes. Basically what I'm saying is, personally I feel like if I decide to be a side chick and I want to be the bottom barrel type of bitch, I just feel like I would never harass the girlfriend. What the f am I harassing the girlfriend for? Like, I knew he had a girlfriend and she ain't know about me. So she never did nothing to make me mad. Like, it's one thing if the girlfriend talking to her big one, then you as the side chick, you know what? Just go ahead and just argue with her. But you you harassing me and I haven't even done nothing to you because you're mad that you wanted my man. That was your man. That was my man. That was our man. We supposed to be a sisterhood and it don't feel like a sisterhood no more. So I feel like when he stopped using this bitch car, this bitch went crazy. She started harassing me. We was arguing all the time. Like, I wish I still had the messages, but again, I think I told y'all this. I forgot the password to my hidden story on snapchat not only did i forget the password but i got back in so that's good she was just constantly bothering me i would go through his phone and because i'm seeing this talk about me and this is just chill lol chill chill it was making me resent him now i think that they genuinely had a, their official breakup i don't know if it was because of me i feel like it had nothing to do with me like maybe because he wants to start taking our relationship more serious i'm not even gonna give that get that much credit but i feel like because for whatever reason he decided that he did not want to talk to her no more she took that shit and made it my issue i told y'all y'all gotta just go find her story time it's sold on my page after the fact that she found my number she found my her best friend found my number sent me a video of her fucking him it was just the fact that you tried to little girl me about a boy and you just tried to violate about a nigga that you knew how to bitch like i don't like bitch I don't know. I just feel like you want me to cry. Why would I cry when I know that you knew about me and you still sat there and sat on that knowing? But then I did the same thing, low key. But I'm the.
<laughs> I'm so glad I got away from nigga, bro. Like, oh my God, this shit sound terrible. His mama don't even play like that. His mama probably wasn't even home. But mind you, she probably was with her fake ass. Fuck you. Matter of fact, let me not say that because she used to watch my stories and I ran into her in Walmart and she was crying. And we talking about, I'm sorry, my son did you like that. I'm like, how you raised this nigga? Get the fuck out of my face. You do not feel no remorse for me. But she was really sitting there crying. I was like, oh my God. This was after I dropped both the story times about me cheating on him and everything and how he did me. She was like, I'm so sorry. When she sent me for my Oh, definitely, I want to die. Definitely. Like, why would I not want to die? Like, so after this, we were supposed to fight. Like, y'all, I was pissed. I was like, girl, I want to fight you. But she was so little. If I would have hit her, she would have just hit the flow. I would have just hit her right at the dead crack of her head. Right here. Boom. Make her take a seat. Feel me? I would obviously get mad at him because I just feel like you're the one who's welcoming these weird eyes into my life. And like, before y'all be like, leave, leave. You would have left. You would have stopped. I already said this, but I'm cutting it out because I got on a whole rant. It ain't even about leaving because once they welcome these people in your life, they be harassing you for months. Like, you don't even deal with the nigga. I'm broken up with the nigga. You still harassing me. Go get that dick. Go get back. I told her, like, if I ever see you, it's up. It's personal. Like, you are tripping. At this point, we had broke up. I never seen her. One day, I'm at Ulta. Y'all always ask me how it ended. Like, but I don't really get into it because, no. I purposely drive to this Ulta so that I don't have to see the is in my hometown. And mind you, at this point, I just started. I literally have a whole career for myself. And I think what I was actually looking for is like perfumes or a foundation. No, it was a foundation. And I was about to go to college. I remember it was right before I was about to go to college. I always been into makeup, but I was like really tapping in, you know, with the expensive shit. I hear a person like ask me like, oh, are you okay? Mind you, me and this man have been broken up, broken up. Like, yes, we still had toxic phases like here and there where like, you know, the, the ex try to check up on you and I have to tell you go down. I hate you like please leave me alone like you know that was like what was happening i'm gonna do some quick little makeup today y'all so that i could look presentable to do this promo that i'm gonna do oh i didn't put on no primer huh it's okay i did skincare when you do skincare you don't even need a primer i hear her say something to me but i didn't even acknowledge her because of the fact that i was in my own world it wasn't even on the root because i don't like again this girl is not in my mind at all it wasn't even that i was pussy. like i don't know how to describe it i just didn't care about this no more so this couldn't get me out of character about this man i have not dealt with this man in months like i don't care about him like bro he calls my phone i don't call his phone she said something to me like oh like do you need help or anything and i'm just like no nah, i'm cool then she was like let me know if you need help or anything i look at this bitch and we both just make eye contact and i just stare at her like i'm not gonna lie i just look at this bitch like nah i'm good especially because i know i could buy anything in this bitch. like you know i had to do my dougie and go cash out in there i was already planning on doing that anyway before i see you but now matter of fact i don't need no color check bitch put it in the bag so i started being an ignorant i had this bitch just running around i'm like they don't have this color can you check in the back for me can you check in the back for me can you check in the back she started being a unfortunately because you know she got to keep her professionalism she was like unfortunately that's all we have in stock and i'm like do you mind just checking in the back i know she probably went in the back and did a spin but it's the fact that you had to walk back there in the first place Bitch. I just didn't like that she said something to me again because once I said no it's good you should never spoke to me again because then I would have left you alone but I feel like because she said something again to me after I said no I'm good after we both acknowledged like who we are to each other she was trying to be funny like am I right or am I wrong am I right or am I wrong I know I'm right she was trying to be funny I oh my god because I'm not gonna lie if I ran into any of Salem ex bitches if I went into any of his ex bitches in the store and I'm a worker there you think I'm gonna ask that bitch if she need help girl fuck you in this job I'm not asking you shit I'm not saying nothing to you. She gonna tell me get this. I don't even know what it was. It was like such, it was such a different color for me. Like, she was like, oh yeah, mind you, that was expensive as fuck. It was like a NARS. My camera battery died. Hold on. Look, watch this though. Watch this though. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. But eventually I left her alone, you know? Dice is still calling me here and there. So, I hadn't spoke to him. This is how I know she ran to his this was like our last to almost final conversation when i left that store first off i spent hella bread in that store that day because i just had to show this he got me so i go home and that day i honestly didn't hear nothing i didn't really care like i should have whooped your ass in that job but like i say y'all when you're out of that situation you don't even have those feelings about the same no more it's just like why would i let you get me out of character so a couple days went by i literally forgot about the situation obviously i put the group chat on i remember i think i even told keys at this point i wasn't even answering the phone calls when he called me from all different types of fake numbers but sometimes if he seen that i was posting this stuff and he calls called me from a fake number he would dead ass just keep ringing my phone and at the time there wasn't no feature for you to genuinely be able to ignore that like now you can ignore this is like our last conversation for real like outside of the you know the important when you break up like oh let me come get this let me come get this let me come get this when we broke up 
I have my whole makeup bag at his house. My whole makeup bag. Whole makeup bag. That's why I was even really... At, that's, like, funny, huh? The reason I was even at Ulta was because of the fact that at this point, I had no makeup. Like, I was getting into makeup, but remember, I was getting money at this point. Like, I had started my social media. I was making my coin. I had stopped working. I don't really have to keep harassing him because what I was doing was, I was like, yo, can you give me my makeup bag? Like, that shit has hundreds of dollars of makeup in there. Can I have my makeup bag? And he'd be like, come get it. And I knew what that meant. It was either we're gonna fight he's gonna try to fuck me or we're gonna fight like it was literally either one and like when i say fight i mean physical i was even trying to get him to get his mama to give me to make a bag they done got into it because i had asked her to give me my makeup bag she tried to go get it for me he went the fuck off with her he didn't like that very much he felt like his mama was an op nope he would not give it to me and to this day i still never got that shit i never got that makeup bag at this point I said, I said, yeah i had the key to his garage and everything but when you're so detached from the point where it's like you have the opportunity to be a bitter you have the opportunity to just go get it i didn't even want that with you like i don't even want that toxic love with you like i don't even want that toxic lifestyle like sometimes at that point i feel like i was at a high especially i'm about to go to college like, i'm looking for stuff you know how before i know a lot of y'all do before y'all go to college like y'all will fuck y'all ex that y'all know is about to be in the hometown because you gonna go away for school and you just got clocked he literally will call me and be like i see you going away to college bro like you ain't even trying to fuck a nigga no I'm not. I'm not. He calls me after like a couple days after this interaction happened with this girl. I answer because obviously I know this nigga like you spoke with the hoe. Y'all was having a conversation back and forth. Nah, I feel like you not standing on business, nigga. When I'm making money and I'm able to travel and go buy myself whatever I want, I do not be giving a f about a nigga. That's what a lot of these fail to understand. He calls me, he's like, yo, what are you doing? I'm like, mm, I'm just getting ready to go back to school. And he's like, damn, and you never even came to see me before you left. I was like, I told you I wasn't gonna come see you before I left. Like, why are you playing confused? He'll get mad. Like, when I'm not being the bitch who's just like in the mood to just fuck around and stuff. And I wasn't in the mood to fuck around. I literally told you I answered him because of the fact that I knew that he was calling me because the bitch probably called him on some, I see your bitch, like, I see your bitch. Like, I don't see you, I don't think about you, I don't know you, I don't care. For you. I have had this for so long. I'm scared to spray it on my face. That's how long I had it. I'm not even finna spray it on my face. I'm like genuinely terrified to spray that. Like I think I've had that spray since I was at Salem's first apartment. Nonetheless, the conversation came to us talking about what I seen. I was like, oh yeah, I seen your old bitch. And he was like, oh, I know. And I was like, what you mean? He was like, he was talking to her. I was like, oh, okay, like you still doing that? Damn, this why you can never touch me. And like, I'm not gonna lie, because I knew that this is who he cheated on me with and it's like you still trying to get back together with me and you still talking to this bitch like why would i get back together with you like you literally still talking to the bitch who you cheated on me with multiple times like on top of that i know you still talking to bitch. why would i believe when you're in my face telling me right now you want to be with me that is true like you're fucking lying you just want to see if i will be with you again and if i don't want to be you're perfectly fine with being on the streets but i'm not gonna lie if i wanted to be with her and he didn't want to be with me and i knew i thought up. like i knew i was wrong like i know i'm the reason that we not good so i'm gonna try with you and that's why i could never respect it and that's why i could never respect if a nigga ever tells me he wants me back and he is talking to new bitches it's just like bro no like you're lying and especially if we broke up about cheating that shit makes no sense if you wanted one bitch, no other bitch would be your focus because you'd be like hell nah like i'm not about to fuck up my chance now it's one thing if you try and the bitch is still dubbing you and shit it's like okay go do you bro like do your own thing and that's what i've been wanting him to do i never wanted him back but it just irritates me this is a who genuinely cheated on me od time so it's like why would i want to hear she told me why are y'all sitting around talking about me so obviously i got hella quiet i stopped talking for real we started arguing about it obviously that conversation was very heartfelt because it got emotional very quickly i remember actually a lot of that conversation that is actually a conversation that sticks um in my head when it comes to this person not all the time but just this person about the things that they said to me when they were angry like that like the things that they admitted you admit it if you not with me like you can die like type shit and that to me just gives enough of like you don't respect me enough you don't give a fuck about me enough you don't care about me enough why would i ever want to be back together with you like outside of me you literally want me to have no good in life but the only reasons why my life is bad is because you're in it or were in it i chew that i chew that i chew that i don't know why i was being a motivational speaker during this like oh don't let me get in my bag uh, i'm low-key i'm not gonna lie i hate talking about it. i like talking about the fun shit like niggas get too traumatized and like these niggas worse than childhood trauma at this point like the love that i have for you wasn't even real because now that i've been in a situation where i experienced real love it's definitely hard to just shake like it's definitely hard to just be like oh hell nah but like when i see his side again in person i was like whoa it's such a difference like it's such a different feeling when you so over the like you didn't even care like she got that out of me because of the fact that i felt like she was trying to disrespect me i don't take 
disrespect me lately i will block you eventually don't get me wrong because why am i arguing with the help but like in the beginning i'd be like nah like this really getting under my skin like this really me up with this like she really with my like oh my god like i'm gonna beat this up because at the end of the day i, I didn't leave him so it's like it's still disrespectful because you're still disrespecting my relationship but now when you disrespect me you're not disrespecting nothing in this situation who won i got out he telling me that but i don't know what he's telling you maybe he do want you maybe y'all need to be together and that's how you really chew a bitch like i don't think that nobody should ever really throw a nigga cheating out there like it's a diss when you knew mama like uh-uh 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 i don't think i don't think that's a diss i feel like that's a diss to you it's not a diss to me but now nah, one is definitely better than the other like ho i would never know about a hoe and just keep sitting in the face like that's the niggas problem not mine i thought you was gone and when i found it again bye bye it was a problem in that life again i never made his life more peaceful knowing he had another bitch outside of me like that was my story time for today about how i seen this ex crazy ass who wouldn't leave me alone like the bitch kept bothering me so yeah that was my story time i would like to thank morgan and morgan for sponsoring today's video that was the end of my story time and i hope you guys enjoyed it this is also like a ted talk about side because clearly i have a problem with y'all don't take away any less from the nigga fucking up like we not even speaking from a point of view of the girlfriend like we speaking from a point of view of just a bitch who's observing you see him cheating his main bitch bad and you think that truth decides who settle for that shit is going to be the main bitch and actually live a happy life and i know there's some bitches right now who's like damn that was me though like he left his for me and he love it here oh, okay check that phone check that phone beautiful ladies out here i want to say check that phone don't never be a bitch who's sitting here talking about i'm never going through a phone if i got to be go through a phone we don't need to be together and then don't be with nobody because you're gonna understand when you go through that phone why you should have went through that phone to know if you should have been with him or not you never know if you should really be with him or not until you go through that phone. Take the battery off that bitch. Let that shit blow up. Go through that phone. Go through that phone. Check that phone. The f I think the reason why I always get caught when I go through their phone is because of the fact that I don't go through your phone on some obsessive. Like, I go through your phone because I just knew. One day I just be asleep and I <laughs> wake up and boom. Time to go through this nigga phone. It's that time again, Ricky. <sighs> I didn't make a really two, one, two, three, boom, 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 boom. It was a quick light beat. This is what my face looks like when I wear no foundation, when I don't try. So, yeah, I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. There's supposed to be a video on Wednesday, which is crazy because I, and it has to be one on the 18th because I have to upload that day. So, y'all basically in like two videos this week. And that's like wild to me. But I guess for October. So, yeah, I will see y'all in the next one. I love you guys. And just be safe out there. I know it's such a crazy time right now. It's getting cold outside, so get y'all coats out. Stay in school. Do your big one. Be a bad bitch. And if you big, don't think that that's stopping you from being a bad bitch. Because I promise you, these bitches not stopping nothing if you don't want them to. Bye-bye.